Welcome back. Today we're going to look at a brand also out of Spain. Um, and this brand is out of Spain. They manufacture the shoes in Spain. And it's a pretty well-known brand uh, among shoe aficionados. But it's not one that you're going to find in, um, in stores. Um, in fact, they've actually closed their own stores and they've gone to 100% online only. And that brand, of course, is Meslin. Now, Meslin uh, makes some pretty darn nice shoes um, at pretty attractive pricing. Um, and I would say that they're best known for being able to get into exotics at very reasonable prices. Uh, their crocodiles are sub a thousand dollars, um, and you can get them on sale sometimes sub eight hundred dollars, which is a great price for what it is. But you know, Meslin also has a look to it, and sometimes that look is very, very good, sometimes that look is not so good. I um, went through the Meslin store and I picked up these. These are actually one of the few Goodyear welted varieties of Meslin. Most of them are Blake stitched. Um, and these are loafers, which you guys know that I'm not a huge fan of loafers just because I don't have a lot of success wearing them. And this has a beautiful patina on it. They've done a really nice job with it. The sole work, the waist work, all of that is incredible. And uh, the leather is very, very soft. Yes, there's some creasing, but not bad. All, all within expectations. And I like it, but I don't love it. This is another one of those brands where I, I look at it and I say, you know, I really ought to like this more, but I don't. And I don't know why. And again, that doesn't necessarily mean that there's anything wrong with the brand. It may just be that this particular shoe is not the shining example of the brand that I needed it to be. And maybe that's what it is. Now, they, they had some beautiful denim leather combinations. They have suede and leather, alligator and leather, alligator and suede. A lot of really, really cool things that might completely strike me very, very differently. And so I will take another look. But I'm curious. What is it about Meslin that is not quite right? Why does it not sit quite right with me? And does it sit perfectly for you and it's just me? And that's okay. I'm curious about it because I want to learn and I want to get better at understanding shoes and not only what I like about shoes, but what you like about shoes. And I find that this has so many things that I really like. And as I said before, the patinas are fantastic. The, the stitching is fantastic. The, the sole work is fantastic. These shoes are a work of art. And many, many of the other shoes that I've seen at Meslin are also works of art. So help me, help me, my, my loyal viewers, and tell me what you love about this brand and why I should love it too. I'm very, very much open to suggestion here uh, because I wanna learn, I wanna get better, and I really think that there's a lot for this brand that I would love, and I just haven't gotten across that line yet. So let me know what your thoughts are. Thank you so much. Again, a very, very high quality shoe um, and a beautiful shoe in its own way. Just not quite right for me. And I don't know why. Thanks again for watching.